Here's a video of how to hook up the power supply for the Vision 3D printer. Uh, basically we're using a 350 watt 12 volt power supply and uh, uh, what we've done is uh, we've got the main power coming in. This is actually hooked up for uh, American um, uh, 110 power supply. Um, if you actually um, are from a different country, it will be probably 220 volts and in that case you have to actually go through and switch uh, this to you know 230 which is what it's actually set on right now. So what we will do is uh, quickly go through the steps to hook up the power supply. Once you get the power supply hooked up, um, this is the most critical part just because uh, uh, 12 volts can shock you uh, or it can burn you you know with things but 110 or 220 volts on this one single line here if you stick your finger in there uh, you're in trouble. First we're going to start off with power supply and we'll see what we can do. Um, the power connectors uh, just to make it easy um, these three here are line or load which is the black connector on the switch then it's neutral which is the white wire and then you've got ground which is the green wire okay and these are just screw in terminal blocks um, you take your screwdriver that we've supplied you in the kit uh, it makes it pretty straightforward and then uh, what we've done here this is for the uh, the lighting you see it's color coded red is for positive and black is for negative so you'll see V plus is any of these three terminals and V minus is any of these three. Uh, the truth is you can actually hook up all the powers just for um, the two middle ones if you want to or you can split them apart if you want to uh, you feel a little bit better about it that way. It's not really going to matter for the lighting connector just because they're so close together um, you know we're going to put the V plus and B, V minus for the uh, inner two here and that way it's a little bit easier and then for these two you can actually uh, put them both on the same one or you can put them on different ones what we're going to do is actually just go through and put the V plus on the next one and the V minus on the next one over and that way they're not all on the exact same terminal so anyway uh, let me get started one thing to note is that I printed out these uh, this cover here what, one of the problems that these uh, power supplies have is that they a they don't have a switch to them uh, because usually they were meant to be located in a larger chassis um, and then b uh, the open terminals here is a problem especially if you have little kids around originally I was going to go with this power supply uh, but it still has sort of the problem it's a little bit better because it, you can see that it has like a little uh, cover over uh, but it's really not a big deterrent you know because uh, it's so easily flipped open so what we're going to do is uh, set about trying to put these together and then uh, what we'll do is we will uh, have our power supply done okay so now we have the line side which is the uh, the black the white and the green that take up the first three terminals the next three terminals are zero volts uh, for the DC side or they say V negative like voltage negative and then the next three are V positive which will be our 12 volt positive that we need for the machine itself so first up we're going to actually take this cable here and what this is is this is the cable that we use for the vision um, LED RGB lighting so anyway the positive is actually going to be in the middle part of here and the negative is on the outside part of it so it's very important that you actually get red on any of these three on this side and black on any of the next three since they're so close together uh, we're going to actually put them on the middle ones that are the two closest of so the V positive and V negative so let's go ahead and kind of snake this through there making sure we got red and black you know polarize and we're going to kind of like jiggle it around do a little bit of target practice here to get them in the right place and once they're in the right place then we're going to tighten them up and what you want to do is kind of hold a little bit till you get it tight and make sure you actually get it on the wire part not on the red or the black part so the only part that you really want to actually uh, have in the screw terminal part is actually the um, uh, the copper side. So next up, we're going to actually take these. If you need to spread them out a little bit, um, the black and red wire we'll call that black. The red wire that will be positive. That's like a universal uh, voltage for DC is 
positive is red and black is negative or zero volts, usually your ground. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and put that in there. So you could actually put these all on the same terminal if you wanted to, but we're going to spread this out and make it a little bit easier. Uh, it takes a little bit more skill to uh, uh, hit all of them so that they uh, are in the same terminal and hold three wires at the same time, especially since you're kind of like fishing it in blind through this uh, little cover here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of feed it in there, take the next voltage positive. We'll do one at a time this time because we've got a little bit more space to work with. Once again, get it kind of tightened. And then next up, we're going to do the next one. And get it fed in there. And you kind of want it closest to the screw if you can. Uh, but as long as it's underneath there, one of the things to check is when you put this together, make sure that none of the stray little fuzzy wires, you know, that they are all underneath here, none of them kind of like go on the other side of there. I didn't leave you enough room that it should be even possible to do that, but it's always good to check. So next up, we're going to take second wire. These two are actually interchangeable. They're the exact same thing, same length, but we have to have uh, both sets in order for the computer board, which is a Rep Rep Ramps 1.4 board. So let's go ahead and put that in there. And if you need to, twist these together. And that kind of like keeps all the little stray fuzzy bits off of there. So red on this side, black on that side. Do red first. Tighten it up. And then black will be last. Kind of like hit it a little bit, so just twist it on there and fish it through the hole into the right location. It's it a little bit harder when you're doing the very last one of these. And there you go. So, so long as you know, these three, they're all the same voltage positive 12 volts. They're actually all hooked together underneath here. And these three are all voltage uh, zero, V zero. So we've got that side hooked up. What we want to do is actually power on the power supply even while the cover's out. And the reason is because this power supply has a trim voltage pot right here. And so you can use your Phillips head screwdriver and put it in there. If you look, it's kind of like got a Phillips screw to adjust it. But what we want to do is make sure that we get the right voltage. So uh, for now, we're going to hook it up and try and get as close to 12 volts as we can. Uh, maybe a little bit on the si hide side. But you can actually adjust this voltage power supply all the way up to like 14 plus volts or all the way down to probably around 10 volts or so. So that was the problem with this uh, power supply. They claimed that it would actually be able to be a 12 volt power supply, uh, but under load it was only 9.6 at the top, and it didn't matter what you actually trimmed the trim pot to, uh, 9.6 volts was the limit of it. So let's go ahead and power this on. Take the cord. Actually, you know what? Before we even do that, um, let's go ahead and the last connection for these two wires, and it doesn't really matter which one goes where, so long as you get the two red ones at the right place and the two black ones in the right place. So what you will look at is the computer board has all these little connectors and stuff. The one we are only concerned about for the power is this one and the great news about it is it has uh, screw terminals and you can actually unplug it. So wiggle it off of there and we put this away. We don't really need it right now. Uh, what we're focusing on is for the the uh, wiring of the power supply. The one thing you do need to know is that as this is up, because it's a polarized plug, as this is up in here, the very first one is positive, so this is red, then negative, this is black, and then red will be positive, so it'll be positive, negative, positive, negative. So it'll go red, black, red, black. So when you flip it around, don't get those mixed up just because it's kind of like different here. But what we're going to do is we are going to hook up the reds to red, black, red, black. Okay, so we're going to do red, black, red, black. And so here's what we do. Twist these. 
make sure they go in there. And what you're going to do is actually aim for the middle, okay? So if you look, there's like these little plates that are in there that can pop up, so kind of shake it if you have to, but you want it actually in between those. So if you have to, un undo this a little bit more, and that should actually spread them out a little bit. So now you've got a clean shot to be able to get these in there. So what you do, make sure these are all twisted, shake that a little bit, and we'll do red and black for the first two. And get those all the way in there. Make sure you don't actually, uh, you know, have any of the strands go from one of these sides to the other because technically you could do that, but uh, be a little bit difficult. And if you have to, put it against a table or something like that, and that way you got some sort of backer to be able to hold it down while you're tightening it. And you want to tighten these actually pretty hard uh, just because this type of terminal for some reason um, it doesn't quite seem to have the gripping power of the others. Okay, so check, make sure those are actually tight and they are. Give that one a little bit more twist. Okay, next up we need red and black. This one kind of looks red from this angle, but on this side it looks like black and red. So we're going to go and do, hit, do the same thing with this one. And put these in there. Make sure all the little stragglers are off of there. And try and get a clean shot into there. And you want to get it as far in there as you can so that there, there actually doesn't really seem to be too much copper that actually shows through. The good news about DC voltage, like I said, is that it can actually electrocute you. Um, but uh, nonetheless, we don't want any extra you know, copper wires out there just in case you have another wire that touches it. So that could be bad stuff. So tighten these down really good kind of hard to get into these screws. They don't seem to go quite as well as the terminal block on the power supply itself, but pretty good. So now you got all of those in there and they're all pretty tight and snug. And what we want to do is actually quickly kind of plug this in here. Power supply is off. Cord is not in the wall. Okay. So just kind of plug it in. Make sure we've got uh, positive is red, negative is black, positive red, negative black. So we did that right. Let's unplug this. We're not even going to touch this now. So now what we want to do is we want to take the power supply here and make sure it's the correct voltage before we actually snap this cover in place. So the cover is kind of just hanging there on the right side. And so what we're going to do, if we need to, we can adjust this little trim pot in here and turn it up or down and uh, that will actually adjust our voltage. So now we need the digital multimeter that actually comes with the kit, we're going to turn it on and we're going to turn it so that it's at 20 DCV. That's uh, so direct current voltage, 20 DCV. This right now actually reads 00, zero. that's good. When you touch them together, uh, it's 0 0.01, I don't know why it does that, but uh, uh, it's close enough to zero. So if, as it's powered off, if you touch red to red and black to black, you get zero. Good. Okay. So now what we're going to do is plug this into the wall outlet. So let's go ahead and plug that in. And now that that's there, remember, do not put your fingers on this side of this plug because you've now got a live, uh, live line on the middle pin of that. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to turn this on. Uh, you're not going to see too much of anything unless you actually look into the, the uh, power supply here. So as we turn it on here, be very careful, you see a green voltage. You kind of hear a little bit of a hum um, to it, but that's pretty much all you're getting. So what we're going to do is we are going to put the red of this to one of the red wires that's in here or the terminals for it. And then we're going to put the black to uh, one of the black sides, okay? And so what do we get? We get 12.65 volts. That's actually not bad. Um, you know, quite honestly, I actually turn my machines up a little bit um, to run them higher than 12 voltage. But if you want to adjust this, let's go ahead and figure out how to do that. Remember, that little yellow 
or red screw that's in there. Hold this with one hand like that and take your screwdriver and be very, very, very careful with it when you put it in there. Um, the good news is that on this side I don't think there's any live line. And then as you turn it up or down, let me see if I can actually prop this up so that you can see. But as you turn it up or down, you're going to see that voltage actually change there. So that's a little awkward, but let's, uh, let me try and put this in there first. And then as we turn it, uh, if you turn it clockwise, it will actually go down in voltage. So if you want it at 12 volts, you turn it clockwise. Let's see. Is you look at it like that, there's 12 volts. And as you go a little bit higher, it'll turn 12.01. You can turn it all the way and you'll get 13, 14, 15 volts out of this, which is pretty good, you know, considering under load that it will carry it. We're going to turn it back down so that it's around 12 volts. So probably a little bit on the positive side, like 12.1, 12 uh, 12 12.2 volts. There we go, 12.2 volts, we're good to go. So now we don't need to worry about that. And we're gonna actually unplug it, just, you know, just on the outside chance that someone wants to grab that. So while it's plugged in, you can see the wire there, or the green LED in there is powered on. So we don't want to fool, fool around with that. We don't want to put our fingers in there. So we're gonna unplug it and unplug it. AC voltage is already off there. Even though the green LED is still lit, uh, only DC voltage can come out of it. So what we're going to do now is just kind of snap this cover on. So you got, kind of got to squeeze it a little bit. Get one side in first and then the other side and they will snap. And once it is snapped in there, it wiggles a little bit, but it actually won't come out of there. So there we go. We got a power supply all good to go for the Vision 3D printer. And if you want, you can actually plug it in again. And you can hear the humming, even though you can't actually see the voltage thing. If you looked in at, you know, at the right angle there, you could see the green LED. Or you can hook up your RGB LED thing. Uh, right now, we're not going to hook this up. We would never actually have this on while uh, you're actually plugging it in. Turn it off. There you go.